my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen this is the first time that you are seeing me thank you so much for stopping by you and you are seeing me when i have bump on my face oh but don't worry i, I still look good like that <laughs> thank you so much for stopping by my return subscriber from me to you thank you i saw this uh, i saw this video and this video was made i think it was made before election how the northerners i'm a nigerian for those of you that don't know i know by now everybody know where i'm from northerners all nigerians from Igbo, from yoruba from north or from south or from everywhere gathered together and cried out why they need peter obi i saw it in in injenje uh, channel oh my god it was the beautiful thing so a lot of heart is broken a lot of heart has been broken even though this thing was done before the election but i'm going to post it here to let you guys know how many people were crying because of um the outcome of this election and how many people that will rejoice regardless of what devil want to do how many people that will rejoice after everything is through and pito b is now the president of federal republic of nigeria i need you guys to watch this it was done before the election so people who are telling you uh, uh, the two people that were tweeting inside the room hello hello these two people that were tweeting inside the room you guys are so so powerful oh. only two only a boy and you guys did all this amazing thing eh so no more saying my vote didn't count my vote didn't count i'm going to make that video i'm waiting for everything to come together so that i can make a video of how your vote counted my brothers and my sisters please look at this video and tell me these are not nigerians both women both men and everybody and what they said when you finish watching just give them thumbs up and share it from me to you thank you so much for watching bye bye Excellency Sir, Mr. Gregory Peter Obi, we are the representative of the Nigerian people and your various support groups all over Nigeria and all over the world. It has been said that you do not have structure, that we want to tell you is a distraction. You have this needed structure to win this election. We collectively are your structure. We want to tell you that we love you. We want to tell you that we are behind you. We want to tell you that we are going to support you to the very last end. Since we are emerged as the uh, Labour Party candidate, presidential candidate, it gave me hope because we know about your history. We know how you carry women along, how you've been sincere, zero tolerance for corruption. So with all these, eh, we have the confidence that, inshallah, you will be the next president-elect 2023. You have energized the political landscape by stimulating a new regenerational political consciousness. And you have encouraged us to take back our country. That we will do. For every Nigerian youth who wants to move forward, who has goals and ambitions, but can't due to the economic situation of the country, for everyone who has been affected in one way or the other through crisis, through religious killings and all of that, we all are behind you. The women believe that the killings, they have killed their husbands, their children, and it affects them most. They want to see an end to that. And what should be an end to that? The solution is to have a new Nigeria. So we are assuring you that the Northerners are fully in support of you to be the next president elect. Over the years, religion and ethnicity has continuously been used by our leaders to sway voters' decision. The Northern youth, inshallah, this time around, 
will counter these traditional ways our leaders use to influence our decision towards election. I want to encourage you. I want you to know that you have structures in the North and we are solidly behind you. In the Northern Nigerian, women give more of their votes. And women are not joking about this general election that is coming up because all these things happening, bedeviling the Northerners, it affects the women most. That is why Nigerian women, especially the Northern women, are ready with their PVCs to give in their votes to Labour Party with the hope that uh, we have a new Nigeria. With the Labour Party together, we will give you the needed support across the nooks and crannies of this nation. You have massive support within the Nigerian state and the diaspora. Those who have felt left out for so many years are now coming together with you to take back this nation. With you, a better Nigeria is possible for all of us especially those in diaspora who have vowed that come 2023, they will all come back home to vote for you. It has never happened before. We are your structure of hope in the northern part of this country. And we assure you that we will remain solidly behind you. We want you to remain steadfast. We want you to continue on the trajectory we want to encourage you and tell you to keep fighting the good fight. We want to change Nigeria because without change, there's no future. We're here to tell you that you should not have any fear because the youth of Nigeria, both the Arewa youths, the Fulani youths, the Ijo youths, we are all in your support. We are sure, we are certain that when you become the next president of the Republic of Nigeria, you are going to make us more happier than we are today. That is why we are not giving up on you. I want to tell you that even from the Muslim community, people are ready to see a new Nigeria. And to have a new Nigeria, we need a new person. A very credible person like you. We are the structure. The Northern region believe in you. The Northern region believe in your capacity. The Northern region have verified you and the Northern region are with you. And come 2023 February, inshallah, you will emerge the winner of the presidential elections. And we can't wait for you to be sworn in as the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We are right here with you on this journey. No giving up, not now and not tomorrow. On behalf of the 230 ethnic nationalities of the Middle Belt that occupied about 300,000 square kilometers, we are guaranteeing that we are with you and we will deliver. Victory Asata.